Hello, my name is Crystal Ken, and I am from Chengdu, China. The teachers here are really nice to students. They always listen to ideas and problems patiently, and they always help me correct mistakes. And the schools here are really energetic. You can see many students doing things other than studying. After school, they join clubs or dance teams or sports teams. And there are also like many special events every year, like coffee house, semi-formal, or Lunar New Year, something like that. They are all interesting and I love them. So the schools in China are more focused on studying. In order to get good marks, you have to give us so many things that you like. But in Canada, we also participate in some school activities, society activities such as volunteering, because you can learn so many different things and interesting things and that are not on the books. And other than doing homework, we also do presentations or sometimes even speeches and also like some competitions which help you to grow up and learn more things. The most difficult thing for me was definitely language. When I first came to Canada, I got so nervous when I talked to native English speaker. I was afraid of making grammar mistakes and having trouble for pro pronunciation. And after that, I tried to watch English shows, dramas, and also some documentaries in order to improve my listening skill. And I also read books in English. And teachers and students, you, you, if you've got any problems, you go to them and they'll help you. And the most important thing is you practice. You make friends that, who speak English and then you practice English every day and then you'll get perfect. The country might still be new to you, but you still have to adapt to it. Read books in English, uh, watch TV shows in English, or dramas if you like, and try to communicate with your friends and teachers to, pra uh, to practice your English skill. Hope you have a good time here. Good luck.